everyone. I'm Melanie Christopher. And I'm Byron Brown. Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith is facing questions, but not giving many answers about a controversy surrounding her campaign. A remark in which she appears to joke about attending a public hanging. Hyde-Smith held a campaign event today, and WJTV 12's Gerald Harris was there. Gerald? That's right, Melanie and Byron. The NAACP calls the remark inflammatory, and today Hyde Smith was repeatedly pressed to provide context. But Hyde Smith wouldn't say any more than a statement she's already made. We put out a statement yesterday, and we stand by that statement. Appointed Senator Cindy Hyde Smith was at a Right to Life event. She was questioned about a controversial 10 second clip. <laughs> That remark made earlier this month before last week's election. Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith was seen thanking a supporter. Hyde-Smith is in the middle of a Senate runoff election against Mike Espy, who is black. He condemned the remarks. Those comments that we heard uh, that were published yesterday are very disappointing. They're, uh, they're, they're hurtful and they're harmful. In her statement, Hyde Smith said she made an exaggerated expression of regard, saying any attempt to turn it into a negative connotation is ridiculous. Governor Phil Bryan appointed Cindy Hyde Smith. Today, he defended her. But I know this woman and I know her heart. I knew it when I appointed her. I know it now. She meant no offense by that statement. There was nothing in her heart of ill will. They're hurtful to the millions of Mississippians who are, who, who are, are people of goodwill. And they're harmful because they tend to reinforce the stereotypes that have held back our state for so long. And in a final attempt to get the Republican nominee to address the context of the 10 second viral video. We're addressing what context did you say that in? And have you ever been to a public hanging? What is a public hanging in your context? We Just did explain. address it yesterday. Thank I, you very much. Nice. She declined. The NAACP called the remarks inexcusable, and the state's lone black Washington legislature, B legislator Benny Thompson said in a statement, it's plain and simple, Cindy Hyde-Smith should apologize to all Mississippians, especially African Americans who have been the recipients of terrorist lynching. Real statesmanship dictates that she does. The runoff election is November 27th, and we will continue to follow this developing story. Reporting in the studio, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12.